Day 3 of the Subaru National Road Series, the Caterpillar Underground Mining, Tour of Tasmania and the 42km Westbury Criterium. Windy. Oh, I was going to say that. <laughs> Coffee. Grilling. Ah, it's all about petrol. <laughs> Welcome to the Caterpillar Underground Mining Tour, Tour of Tasmania. Tasmania. You! You! In nearly cyclonic conditions, the peloton took to a fast but technical street circuit where brakes were hard to come by. Eventually, as a result of an increasing pace and considerable crosswinds, brakes occurred and the peloton splintered into a number of groups. With just over a third of the stage remaining, Joshua Taylor of GPM Wilson Racing made a sizeable break. Further increasing his tempo throughout the final stages, the peloton was unable to bring him back. After a solid effort in very testing conditions, it was Joshua Taylor of GPM Wilson Racing taking the win, ahead of Scott Law from Search to Retain and Anthony Giacoppo of Genesis Wealth Advisors rounding off the top three. It's really awesome to get that win finally. Um, yeah, like, attacked it like some 10 to go. And I didn't have the legs at the start to go with the early moves, but it was worth just waiting a bit. The afternoon 101 km road stage from Hagley to Great Lakes was set to be one of the most challenging stages of the tour. Oh, we know one thing, it's going to be super windy. As the winds picked up, the peloton gathered in the stunning we'll surrounds back, of Pondy Estate, where the stature of the grounds were well suited to the calibre of riding that was anticipated over the coming hours. Heading out into this challenging stage, the windy conditions kept the peloton largely together. A number of small breaks were made and were brought back under the watchful eyes of the bunch. It wasn't until the final climbs of the day that all the real attacks took place. A break containing Lachlan Norris of Dropak Professional Cycling, Mark O'Brien of Team Budget Forklifts and Nathan Earl of Genesis Wealth Advisors, all GC contenders, now forced the pace, dropping the two challenges quickly. I think if anyone uh, makes it to the finish line with uh, their bike still intact and uh, not hitting the deck um, and being able to hold it up, I think they're doing really well, so it's looking pretty windy out there. On the final climb of the stage, after a close and intense battle, Lachlan Norris of Dropak Professional Cycling found the legs to put in a final kick to the line. By day's end, under ominous clouds, it was Lachlan Norris of Dropak Professional Cycling taking a well-deserved win over Nathan Earl of Genesis Wealth Advisors and Mark O'Brien of Budget Forklifts. You know, we are all just on the limit there and I just... Earl hit us from the cars and then I just used that and hit and then it was just a TT to the finish so yeah I'm just so happy and got a couple of time bonuses on the climb there so yeah the boys earlier on in those crosswinds it was so hard and like all the boys did a fantastic job just looking after me so yeah I'm just really happy to finish off today. Following on from the time gained from his stage win, Lachlan Norris also now wears the Caterpillar Underground Mining Tour of Tasmania leader's jersey.